Joining our conversation, our friend Jamel Hill. She's a contributing writer for The Atlantic and host of Spotify podcast, Jamel Hill is Unbothered. She's also co-host of Vice's Carrie and Jamel Stick to Sports. Jamel Hill, thank you for being here with us. Um, under better circumstances, you were kind to join our coverage of um, Tiger Woods' car accident. Thank God he seems to be um, just dealing with his injuries there. But I want to ask you about LeBron James' impact on detractors. Why does he bother people for doing what he does when so many people are so thankful that he does use his platform and his voice the way he does? Well, in, in this case, Nicole, it was really um, kind of strange of where the criticism was coming from. You know, uh, another international uh, star, um, Zlatan uh, uh, Ibrahimovic, who, looking at his background, you would be very surprised that he would be so critical of LeBron for speaking out. Because this is the same soccer star who years ago talked about how much he loved Muhammad Ali. And in the past, he's talked about what it meant uh, for his family when his parents immigrated to Sweden and the racism that they faced be there being um, that they were Bosnian and, and Croatian. So I didn't understand why he thought that this criticism was appropriate when he himself has faced a lot of struggles and challenges and grew up in a way uh, that there are some commonalities between him and LeBron James. And But LeBron continues much like a lot of black athletes in the tradition of speaking out, he continues to unfortunately invite a lot of criticism, not on, not that it's his fault, but people generally have a problem, as we've seen throughout our American history, of when black athletes begin to speak up for themselves, speak out against their conditions and the conditions that are faced by their people. People don't want to hear it because of where it's coming from, because these are issues that they would rather not face. Because... It's funny how when other athletes speak out about things that people tend to agree with, then we don't hear stick to sports, you know, um, or these same kinds of things. And I just think in general, people are just very bo bothered by black empowerment in any way. Can you talk about it from the athlete's perspective? How much pressure is there on athletes if they make this choice to speak out? And, and I think you'd probably agree that LeBron's in, his, in a league of his own and has a platform that not all athletes have. But we saw in the last 12 months a whole lot of athletes use their voices in, in, in the way he does. Well, I think I wouldn't look at it as pressure or obligation as something that they feel forced into doing. The bottom line, I think. I mean, the other side. Been, I mean, what, what, what pressure do they get either from fans or from the press not to? Well, I, I think it's significant. I mean, listen, there is a lot of there are a lot of people who look at uh, somebody like LeBron or really any black professional athlete, period. And they look at them as people who have, quote unquote, made it. And because they have made it. They feel as if, hey, you're playing a game. Um, you're doing something that a lot of people would love to do. Why are you deciding to get involved in very complicated and messy matters that might cause people to dislike you? I mean, certainly from a financial standpoint, there's a lot to lose. And LeBron, you're right. I mean, he's in a different position. Who doesn't want to be in, in, in business with LeBron James? I mean, there's a whole lot of people who do. And so whatever it is he chooses to put his voice behind, they're going to see this as an OK risk reward. But there are certainly players on a smaller level who feel as if if they do speak out, if they do say something, that it's going to cost them some kind of opportunity or they're going to what's ha what's going to happen to him is what happened to Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. Now, Colin Kaepernick is still able to provide for himself. But the fact is, that it cost him his NFL career. And a lot of athletes don't want to face that. But I think 2020 was such a different moment for a lot of them that they decided and they understood that they can no longer kind of hide behind that, that now more than ever is the time where they need to use their voices and their platforms to speak out against injustice because staying quiet just isn't an option anymore for a lot of professional athletes. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.